Praise the Lord and good morning. This certainly is a day that the Lord has made and I will tell you, I feel great this morning. For the Lord has certainly blessed, he has certainly strengthened us and we have a joy that goes beyond our understanding, a joy that we can't explain every day we wake up. We may have gone to bed with, you know, with almost anything, physical challenges, mental challenges, other types of depressions. But there's a joy in understanding who the Lord is in our lives. And I thank the Lord for that understanding. And so as we approach today's devotional, the joy of understanding, it comes uh, out of Luke 24, verse 45. And in this, uh, Luke wrote uh, concerning Jesus, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come, Lord, giving honor, glory, and thanks. Lord, for the recognition that you have given to us that we know who we are. The experience, O oh Lord, that we have. How we can look back and know how far you brought us from. Lord, we thank you. Lord, as David uh, proposed, O oh Lord, that you, you, you've led us by the green pastures. You've kept us in goodness and mercy has followed us all the days of our lives. And now, Lord, we pray your strength upon us. Bless us as we go forward on this day. Bless us as we understand this devotional. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. The joy of understanding. Then he opened up their understanding. Now, I'm sure you can remember when you did not believe and when it was difficult for you to believe. And you, uh, you may have been the one, like my father, Bishop, who just, who just sat at the bar and uh, and thought nothing concerning God. Uh, and then one day, uh, the Lord opened up his understanding. And it, it's kind of interesting, he told the story uh, before that he and his friends were sitting around the, the bar and they were asking one another concerning religion, you know, well, what are you? And someone said, well, I'm a, I'm a Baptist. And the other one said, well, I'm a, I'm a uh, Catholic. And the other one said, I'm Episcopalian. And then they said, they said, they said Brazier, what are you? And he said, I'm a sinner. And it was then that the Lord opened up his understanding. It was then that he went out to Morgan Park Assembly and was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Lord opens up our understanding so that we might understand the scriptures. It is the scriptures that provide for us a way of understanding of all the things God has done, but most of all, if we understand scripture, we understand that the, the reason for the scripture is to define and create the reflection about God's relationship with man. This is what the scripture, the scriptures are all about. Starting from creation through the children of Israel, now to the Gentiles, the Jesus and the receiving of the Holy Spirit, moving toward to the revelation. It's all about the relationship we have with God. And so as the Lord opens up our understanding, as you read the scriptures, and I've always said that you should always, if you're going to read the scriptures, start with the book of John. And because the book of John tells you about who Jesus is. Then go to the book of Acts, which teaches us about the, the acts of the Holy Spirit. Then go to the book of Ephesians that, that tells you how you are born again. And then to the uh, uh, book of Romans that tells you that you, are, that you have been saved eternally. And it's not about the law. It's really about grace. It's all about the grace of God. And so as you approach today, approach it knowing that the Lord has already opened up your understanding, has already given you an insight into the scriptures. Read the scriptures. Let, let the scriptures strengthen you. Be kept by them and the Lord will bless us all. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. Be strong. Be safe. Be encouraged. May God bless.